How you guys doing, Eric here? Today is Tuesday, March 13th, 2018. Beautiful morning up here at the top of the Alpen Glow Lift here at Eldora Mountain Resort. And it's another Friday the 13th for me, Tuesday the 13th, but it's my Friday, so it's another personal Friday the 13th. And do I got some drama for your asses today? Oh yeah, at the top of Corona, beautiful morning up here. The sun was shining, the cloud just covered it up. It looks like it's starting to cloud up over there to the, to the east. Maybe we'll get some snowfall here in the next couple days. But yeah, man, you didn't believe what the fuck happened last night, man. The fucking retarded Sasquatch saga continues, man. It gets more and more insane. I, I, okay, so so last night, I don't know, I didn't even know they were gone, man. I thought I thought Roscoe and Shalena, I found out her name is Shalena. I thought they were just hiding out in the room because they didn't want to talk to me. But I heard there was they had a radio playing in the room. I guess so they would, I would think they were in there. I don't know, man. It was weird. And then uh, if I fell asleep sitting on my living room, so on the couch or on the on the uh, the chair, and I was you know in front of in front of the computer screen, I fell asleep. And uh, I wake up at like 12 o'clock or so, 12.15 or something, and there's a fucking, some headlights shining in my fucking front door. Well, it turns out it was a taxi cab. And, the, and, it, and I guess uh, Roscoe and Shalena took a taxi cab up from Denver, like an $88 taxi cab ride, the guy was telling me. And uh, they didn't have the money to pay the taxi cab driver. So I guess he said they got out and they took, and they were like hiding behind my house. And I'm like, he's like, do you know these people that I just, that I just dropped off? They said, and he's like, well, the guy said he was your brother. I'm like, what the fuck? I had no idea what was going on, man. And so I was like, no, man, I don't know who, what the fuck you're talking about. And then like a couple minutes later, I see Roscoe. I guess he came out from behind the house and he was out there talking to the guy. So I went back out there and he said, yeah, the cops are on their way. And Roscoe's sitting there asking me to pay the fucking taxi cab. I'm like, fuck you, dude, I ain't paying the taxi cab. He's like, come on, man, please, 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 please pay the taxi, man. I'm like, no, dude. You already owe me too much money as it is, man. And I'm not fucking bailing your ass out of this shit, so. Yeah, then the fucking, the sheriff shows up, and uh, deputies show up. You know, they, they demand to come to my house because Roscoe's fucking living there. So I had to let him into my house, and uh, he was looking for the for the Shalena. And a few minutes later, they found Shalena back hiding behind the house. And so yeah, she ended up going to jail. I guess she had a warrant. And yeah, they kept me up till like 1:30 or something. But well, you know, the sheriffs were pretty cool about it, man. They came in, looked around for a minute, and left. You know, they didn't fucking sit there and try to give me a bunch of bullshit. You know, they were, they, thank, thankfully they were decent about the whole situation, but. So yeah, they took her to jail, then they, then they fucking let Roscoe go with a tip, you know, with a, a, a citation. And, you know, I guess he's gonna have to go to court and shit over that. But, yeah, man, I'm fucking so, oh man, that was horrible, dude. I got, I got some, some footage of the whole thing, man. I might, I might upload it, I don't know. But yeah, it was fucking, oh my God, I can't believe it. He tried jacking a fucking taxi cab. Tried to get away with not paying for a taxi cab right at my fucking house. Oh my God. How fucking retarded and stupid can you get? You think I'm gonna pay for it after all the shit you pulled on me? Your fucking crazy old lady having a fucking fits in the middle of the night the other night keeping me up for most of the, most of the fucking night and then you're gonna go pull, oh my God. And then I came home and he had drinking all my beer. He fucking, yeah, he, I had like four beers in the refrigerator and they were all gone. This guy, and, and, they, and I saw they had been into my food, into my fucking juices, drank most of my orange juice, my fucking cranberry juice, and fucking iced tea they've been drinking, fucking eating, oh my God, I, I taped up, I put tape all over my covers with, and I wrote on it, please don't steal my food. And then I put a, I put a note, magneted to the refrigerator saying, Stay the fuck out. But, you know, I don't think the fucking scumbag's gonna care. He's just gonna take what he wants anyways. 
So yeah, man, some serious fucking drama going down last night. Having the fucking sheriff at my house. I was hoping they, I was hoping Roscoe was gonna go to jail too, but they let him go, man. That fucking kind of sucks. I had to let him back in, man. But yeah, I keep telling him, dude, you gotta fucking leave. You gotta get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of my house. Get out of my life. Go away. I'm just gonna keep being an asshole to him until he leaves. He expects me to give him a ride to the grocery store and shit. Fuck that. I ain't giving him a ride nowhere. You can starve to death for all I care. I'm going to start locking my own food up in my room. Just bringing enough food home every night for myself to eat. And the rest of it I'm going to lock up in my bedroom where the fucking scumbag can't get to it. Anyways, yeah, man. What a bunch of bullshit. Fucking so sick of it, dude. Anyways, yeah. That's my fucking drama for the day. These two picnic tables here at the top of the Corona lift. Right over there is the Corona lift, the lookout. Man, this would be a beautiful place to have a picnic for sure. We got that view there. And the other side of the ridge, the really rugged view, Continental Divide, James Peak Wilderness area. Man, really nice. I'm glad they put these picnic tables here. I just figured it out, man. This would be a great spot to strap into my snowboard and take off. Oh. Got Andre here today, the Brazilian tattoo artist. <laughs> Woo! He's probably. We fun. This guy knows how to work the crowd, man. <laughs> Stop it. They love him. The people here at Eldora, they love Andre. Whoa! <laughs> <I> love it! <laughs> Check out my snowboard, man. It's so badass. Yeah. It even has a it even has a porn star on it. It's a beautiful board, though. I love the way it looks. Fancy paint job. How do you get to be such a ladies' man? <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> we all love it. Yeah, man. Isn't that? I'm from Brazil. <laughs> Checking out the scene here at the top of Alpen Globe this afternoon. It is gorgeous, man. Lots of people having a good time here today. Spring breakers. There's plenty of people come through here and put stickers on here. Alagasca Resort, Alaska. Guitar Hut. Everybody's shooting up a big old rooster tail when they turn. It's like water skiing almost. On the slush. Oh yeah, it's been a nice day this Tuesday. My Friday the 13th. go home and see what kind of drama Roscoe's got for me tonight.